Learning Objects A learning object is a resource, usually digital and web-based, designed to support learning. In learning objects, educational content is broken down into small chunks that can be used and reused in various learning environments. In order for a chunk of content to be a learning object, it must be instructional, and it must have intended learning outcomes. On the screen here, we have a recipe for garlic, spinach, and chickpea soup. Let's break it down to its component parts. If we first consider the list of the basic food items for this recipe, we would not have a learning object. Even when we take the basic food and spice items and add quantities for each item, we still don't have a learning object. It's only when we add directions that our list becomes a recipe, and it also becomes a learning object. It may not be a high-quality learning object, but we now have a possible learning objective, which is to create this garlic, spinach, and chickpea soup. It's not a curriculum or even a unit of learning. It's a chunk of educational content that can be used and reused in various learning environments. One teacher might use it in a lesson on cooking. Another might include this little chunk in their teaching of measurement, while a third teacher might use it to teach about nutrition or healthy eating, and a language teacher might use it to teach reading and or writing skills. The term learning object is not a brand new term, but its use is growing because in the past few years, learning objects have been associated with online or web-based instruction. As more and more people get on the Internet with higher and higher bandwidth, it becomes possible to create educational content that uses different kinds of media. Until recently, text was the type of media most often used in learning. Now, graphics can be used along with text, and video, audio, and animation can be added to provide a very rich learning experience for the students, one that can better accommodate learners with different learning styles. Learners can not only read, but also observe and listen. The final ingredient, interactivity, is very powerful because it allows learners to do quizzes, choose learning paths, be evaluated, or even interact online with other students or their instructors. They can make decisions, problem solve, work at their own pace, and apply what they've learned. Imagine the possibilities for learning objects in the future.